What's going on guys? Brad Scott here from bradscottvisuals.com and today I wanted to show you a quick rundown of my aerial cinematography setup. Um, this is a Terret T15 frame. Um, we basically custom built it to be a heavy lifting octocopter. It's got the Sky Pirate um, uh, SP4114-10 um, motors. We got eight of those. We've got the uh, 15 inch props. Those are the high efficiency props there. I'm running the Panasonic GH4 on there with a Photoship One gimbal. Um, and it has the Radeon stabilizers on there. So it stabilizes the footage as I'm flying. Um, great setup because you can switch out the DSLR camera to, to pretty much any, any DSLR camera. I flew my 6D on there, my Canon 6D on there fine. Um, great for still photos doing it that way. Uh, got the DJI Wukong M um, flight controller system. Um, the Mondo Extreme um, is what's talking to the Black Pearl Flysight 7 inch diversity monitor. Um, I'm running the Spectrum DX6 to control the actual gimbal itself. Uh, and then I'm running the Spectrum DX18 to control the the actual octocopter itself, the multi-rotor. And that's talking to um, an AR8000. So the Spectrum AR8000 is what's linking to the Spectrum DX18 radio. Uh, some other stuff on here. Uh, we've got the little converter here. So this is an HDMI to um, AV converter. So that's what lets me actually um, get the footage working from the DH4 or the GH4 into the um, FPV monitor. Um, you can see that the I haven't attached the micro HDMI to the camera yet, but it's this little camera. Uh, cord right here. This is the HDMI to micro HDMI that hooks into the GH4 there. Um, you can shoot full cinematic uh, 4K video with the GH4 at 24 and 30 frames per second as well as 96 frames per second slow motion um, which is really great for aerial stuff. It makes some really cool cinematic looks especially if you're filming any type of cars or um, anything that you want to get in slow motion, it looks awesome. Uh, I got a Pelican case for the um, for the octocopter and the gimbal. So this whole setup right here fits in this Pelican uh, 1770 case. Um, you just have to take the props off. Uh, so the the actual octocopter will fit in this part of the case, and then the gimbal fits down in there. You take these these uh, landing gear off just from this clamp right here and those have little slots cut out in the foam that fit underneath everything. So this whole setup right here fits in that Pelican case um, as well as the uh, the monitor and the DX18. The DX6 has its own, um, own little case there and then I also have uh, the Pelican 1510 case set up for charging. So I'll show you what's in there. So I've got all the batteries. These are the uh, these are the uh, Nanotech Turnigy um, 2200 uh, milliamp hour um, batteries that run the gimbal. And then I've got underneath here our um, Turnigy 5000 uh, milliamp hour batteries running the actual octocopter. And two of those will sit right in here, right in these two straps. And it connects with the EC5 connectors. Um, got the, this is the uh, Hyperion ES uh, 720i Super Duo 3 uh, charger. This will charge two batteries um, within about a half hour or so. And I've got a max amp um, power supply underneath that. So uh, six, six of the, well, I can fit more batteries, but right now I have six of the, uh, 
the 5,000 milliamp hour batteries in there, um, as well as this will fit four of these batteries right in there. Um, I've got another one that is, I think it's underneath here. It's down here, somewhere in there. Uh, but that's all packed away, um, ready to travel. But yeah, it's a pretty badass setup. I've gotten some great footage with it already. And uh, just look at the thing. The thing is a beast. So that's the heavy lifter octocopter setup for aerial cinematography. Thanks for watching, guys. More videos to come.